What is up YouTube? So today I want to take a quick look at Wild Rift on the iPhone 12 Pro Max and my experience with it. And I can say one thing, uh, one thing I noticed fairly fast is the iPhone 12 Pro Max gets extremely warm, uh, way warmer than, the, than when you're playing on the Galaxy S20 Ultra or Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. And this may actually, I mean, I would say it can actually be a little problematic uh, if you would, uh, let's say you would play games for maybe a couple of hours. Uh, you probably do not, you probably wouldn't appreciate if it turns like super warm. And it's mainly happening uh, where the camera is up here at the top it's getting like super warm so that's something that you should kind of keep in mind it's very nice also to see one thing I also notice is I'm not really sure if I like the uh, volume up and down keys uh, on the iPhone 12 Pro Max how they feel almost a little bit slippery and uh, like like the coating or something that's used on top of the buttons it uh, it feels like you you slide around a lot which I think they could have um, made a better design choice uh, they, they could have like they could definitely have, have picked something else. Um, yeah, so that can also be one thing that you should kind of keep in mind. So this game runs fine uh, at 60 FPS. And if you have a good internet connection, you also don't really, you don't really have any problems with anything. As you can see, I think standard I, I go with like 30 milliseconds but I'm I'm a little bit further far away from uh, the Wi-Fi connection as well but uh, it is still performing very very good so this is just a co-op where you pick or there's like five humans playing against AI as you see, I, I kind of died there because I was kind of not focusing on the game. But yeah, uh, I don't I don't notice any 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 frame drops. I I noticed um, pretty big frame drops on the Galaxy S10 Plus sometimes, and sometimes also with the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. But um, I haven't. I haven't noticed it so far with um, uh, with the iPhone, and the iPhone is of course running on. Um, I think the iPhone 12 Pro Max running on Apple's own A14 chip, and 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 their own graphic processing unit. As you know, with Samsung, they're using either the Adreno GPU. Actually, they may use the Adreno GPU, both in Snapdragon and Exynos variant of the phones, but I don't, I can't verify that at the moment. But as you can see with this game, I mean, it is like a different standard altogether on on on, on gamings on mobile. Um, the graphics is better, uh, less annoying in-app purchases. And, and stuff like that that you really don't want to see in games in in 2021 you do have in-app purchases in uh, in League of Legends Wild Rift but it's only for it's not affecting the game mechanics so much because it's only only for for purchasing stuff like skins and so on There you can see I had some lag there, but it was only because like it's not game lag It's just like the Wi-Fi uh, Connection that I'm running on at the moment it, Just because I'm far away from it uh, So it, that's not 
that's not the graphic processing unit that, that struggles with the game or anything like that. But it's going to be interesting if we're going to see more like super high graphics games uh, to come out on uh, on smartphones. I mean, we probably will because if if you look at the desktop. Uh, what's happening in the desktop space uh, all these crypto people buying up all these um, graphics cards and it, it makes so Nvidia and AMD like they get so much profit from from focusing on in, improving the graphics and the, and the graphics cards so it seems like that eventually will spill into mobile gaming eventually uh, for example, that we saw this rumor that we may see an AMD GPU in in the next uh, in the next Samsung phone, probably the Galaxy S22. Uh, that obviously will make it so you will get eventually more more games that that uh, take advantage of, of the graphics engine in uh, in new smartphones because at the moment like if you go to the play store you can see that most games are not really like super intense 3d graphics like most people are still playing 2d games because they don't have uh, super powerful graphics in their smartphones but with phones like the galaxy s20 ultra the iphone 12 pro max and, the, and these phones are coming in the next two or three years. I mean, the GPUs are insanely good. And then eventually these mobile game developers are probably gonna move more and more into really do world, cla world class 3D gaming experiences where, where everything is, is nicer. Uh, yeah, but this game is running great. Um, this is a cool game also, like, it launched on desktop around 10 years ago, and now we're playing it on mobile, and uh, I think even, like, the mobile controls in many ways may even be better than, like, the experience of, of using a desktop computer where you need to both use a, a large keyboard and a mouse. This is just, like... Well, this just feels nicer, like you have this big 6.7 inch display over here and, uh, and, and it's like portable. Uh, these games here, they're playing for around 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes long. Uh, so on desktop, you have to sit there for maybe 30 minutes to one hour. So this is more like fast paced gaming, which is nicer. Like if you're sitting and, and, and waiting for something for a couple of minutes, you can just like easily pick it up, uh, which is very nice. Obviously I don't focus too much uh, on, on doing my best over here because doing a video but I get to say it's a fun game like um, it's a fun game so we only have a couple of turrets left here also if you would like leave the game um, in this game like when you're playing online you would kind of get uh, punishment uh, if you leave the game and it's one of these things with all these new games where you kind of need to be connected to Wi-Fi to play them uh, most of them do not have so many so many offline capabilities So it looks like we're gonna win here quite soon. Uh, right now the iPhone is not getting that, it hasn't been getting that warm around the camera. It's, it's still very cool, which is kind of nice because when I played it yesterday, it got, it got warm very fast. 
There you could also see some, some quick uh, Wi-Fi lag. So let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a quick win this one. Oh no. So my score is not the best in this game. Let's see what it is. Zero five. Yeah, it's not the best really. But our team score is twenty four. 4, 11 versus this uh, co-op AI so you play against 5 uh, bots and they haven't really gotten down like the AI hasn't really gotten down any of our towers so this can be kind of interesting I don't really think they're gonna win. Uh, one thing I noticed with, um, well, one thing that's pretty obvious with the iPhone 12 Pro Max is the, uh, the speaker is amazing. Like the sound card that they're using in this smartphone is just amazing. Um, yeah, I really appreciate Apple for putting in a nice sound card. I mean, the last iPhone I used was like iPhone 7, and um, yeah, it's, it's just like massive improvements from that kind of time, which is quite nice. So, let's see if we can finish this one here. Okay, let's see here. And there you go, there, there you can see again um, how like if you do run <laughs> if you do run these games on like bad Wi-Fi uh, it can they can even be like they can even become unplayable. This one away. On my way. Ally slain. Shut down. Double kill. Enemy slain. Enemy turret destroyed. So, this is getting closer to the finish line.
we can bring down this tower here. Go back in the heel. And uh, yeah, I mean, the speaker can, can get really loud <laughs> on this smartphone if you really want to. Here we go. Yeah. So not that much, not that much Wi-Fi lag or anything in this video. That was nice. And uh, I mean, yeah, it, it runs fine on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Great phone. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see where smartphone is going the next five years. Yeah. Have a great day.